Hi, my name is John Pratchett and I'm going to talk about a regular question that I get which is how do you route audio out of vMix into an application on the same machine and then back into vMix. So let's have a look. So first off, if you find these videos useful, please click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you're notified when any new videos drop into my YouTube channel. So as I said in the introduction, we're going to talk about something I'm asked a lot, and that is how do you send audio out of vMix into an application that's sitting on the same machine and then back into vMix again? Um, it sounds like it's a simple little operation to do, but if you've never done it before, uh, it can be a little bit complicated trying to work out what the routing is and where everything is going. Um, so let's have a look at what we've got set up here. If I go into my vMix machine, here we go. Um, there's three versions of me now, look at that. So here we have a very simple little setup we've got going here. We've got my microphone, which you can see here. And uh, we want to send that out to a program like Zoom, or we want to send it out to uh, Google Meet or Teams or anything like that, or even a comms system like Unity Comms or Discord that's running on the system. So let's have a look how we will do that. The trick to this is we've got to find some way of tethering these two um, tethering these two um, applications together. How do we get the audio out? There's no physical piece of string to, ca to connect them. We need to something that will tether them together, effectively act as a virtual audio cable. And funnily enough, there's a piece of software that does just that. And it's this, it's called VB, from VB Audio Software. It is free if you want to buy the single virtual cable one. Um, and that will give you a single virtual cable, but Really, we want two because we want to be able to send one in and we want to send one out. So I always like to go for this one here. They do a thing called uh, virtual cable A and B. So that gives you two virtual cables, uh, one A and one B. Let's put me up there. There we go. Uh, and they do another one so you can have a C and D. So all together here, you could have, you know, five virtual cables. Testing my maths. Um, so you can download that it's donation where it is not much money and worth every penny. And I would suggest that you just download all the virtual cables because they're very, very useful. Uh, once you've downloaded that, well, we need to install it. So let's have a, a look. We have a, once you download it, you install it and you just run virtual cable setup x64. The chances are you've got a 64 bit operating system. Um, one little thing to remember is whenever you run this with the virtual cable A, B, or C, or D, they want, it, want you to run the install as administrator. So make sure you right click on it and choose this option up here, which is run as, administ as administrator. Once you've done that, you've effectively installed two new sound cards as far as Windows is concerned. So restart your system, and at which point we have a virtual cable uh, a, B, C, D, whichever ones you've installed. So in this particular instance, I'm going to use C and D. So um, let's show you how we can set that up. Let's go back to our vMix system. So here we are in vMix, and we want to send anything that goes down, and we'll say, we'll call it bus G. So here you go, you can see I've ticked my microphone, bus G, and I would like that, let's go to this, I would like that to appear in, let's go to here, Let's get it here. Oh, here we go. Here it is. You can see it's going up and down here. I would like to for it to appear in my Google Meet. So how have I got from vMix, and you can see I'm talking, you can see Google Meet is telling me that there's audio coming here, um, into Google Meet. Well, as you can see, on Google Meet, I have told the microphone to be virtual cable C. Simple as that. Change your microphone input to virtual cable C. And we now need to route something from vMix into Virtual Cable C. So let's have a look at that. On the vMix side of things, well, to get out of vMix, we have to use the buses. So it's a matter of going to Settings. I'll give you a closer up. Shop, Settings, Audio Outputs. And here, if you have a look, you can see that my output bus G is now, put me in again. My output bus G is now set to Cable C audio track one and two, which is pretty much the default if you haven't touched anything. So just make sure that that output G is set to audio track one and two. Now, obviously, once you click 
OK because this is vMix and it's running on a Windows system and it talks to the audio, audio side of Windows directly. You've got to do a restart of vMix. Once you've restarted vMix, you come back in and all you have to do is route anything that you want to route to G. So if we go back to this split again, uh, if you have a look carefully, you can see my microphone is going up and down in Teams, and that is because I'm routed to G, just here. If I take that off, you will notice that the audio is no longer going up and down in microphone level. And if I put it back to G, which I'm doing now, you'll suddenly see that we have now routed our audio out of vMix via the virtual cable C and then into our Google Meet. So, now that we've done that, we need to get, obviously, the Google Meet audio or the Zoom audio uh, or the comms audio straight out of the system back into um, vMix. And that's a very simple thing to do. All we do is we're going to choose our other virtual cable. So, if, if remember, I'm saying I'm using C and D. So, I'm going to use cable D to come out. And then, simply, on vMix, all I'm doing is adding my virtual audio cable D. Let me delete that here so you can see me do it. We go add, do, 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 do. there it is, audio input. Pull that down and then you'll see cable D just here. So I'm gonna select that, click on okay. And now I've enabled uh, an input of audio cable D. Let's go to our two split. All right, let's do a little test. So if I send from audio cable D using the little Google test icon here, there we go. You can see audio levels coming into vMix on our audio cable D input. Let's do that again. Audio cables coming in on our D input. So as you can see, we have routed our audio back into vMix. And of course, that's just an audio input down here. So here's our audio cable. So if that was something that you wanted to take to air within vMix, obviously you'd send it to master. Uh, if it was going somewhere else, let's say you had a, uh, you were listening to a, a particular channel and it was comms, for example, you could send it down uh, that bus, whichever one you're listening to. Uh, and that will get your audio in and out um, of any application effectively that's running on the same system. Uh, I'll give you a little example of using it in Unity. Um, here it is. Here is Unity comms. Uh, so if you have a, if you're working with somebody who's running Unity and they say we'd like to put Unity, for example, audio into your um, vMix production, that it's very similar. They'll give you details in order to connect up the client. They'll tell you what ring you're on. So let's say we're a gallery ring. So I hit that for talk and hit that for listen. And then in the settings here, after we're connected, we've done exactly the same. As you can see, C is my input, D is my output. Uh, and then with just out of interest, if, you, if you're interested on Unity, make sure you take the microphone gate level all the way off. And you can have a continuous talk button, which is effectively the same as you pressing that talk button down in order to be able to um, constantly talk and have effectively an open channel because you can then manage whether you send audio down that within vMix. Um, and so that works exactly the same way. So again, just to clarify, we have our channels that we want to send going down bus G. Our bus G is routed to a virtual cable. I've routed it virtual cable C, which we've already installed. So anything that goes down G will appear on virtual cable C. That you make the microphone input on your application. Then you use audio cable D, which um, you have set as your speaker output on the application. And you've added that as an input, as you would do any other audio input, into vMix. So there you have it. It's quite simple. Uh, lots of people already know how to do this. There seems to be a lot of people that don't know how to do this. Uh, so for those who haven't tried this before and have struggled with it, hopefully that has given you some idea of how it's done um, and uh, is of use to you. In the meantime, 
thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm sorry I've been a bit delayed in getting some videos out to you. I've been very busy with work, but there is more videos coming very shortly, I assure you. So again, please subscribe to the channel and click that little bell, and I'll see you next time.